judgment and dehumanization prevents you from seeing reality because you are in a delusion. So like to take some current issues, like say immigration, the right tends to dehumanize the immigrants. When these cherry picked headlines of such and such illegal alien commits such and such a crime, he was one of the gotaways, et cetera, et cetera. And they're violating our laws you know, when they're coming into our country. Okay. Why are they coming? Do you really ask that in light of, I'm looking at a divine being here. I'm looking at a human being just like myself. What does it take for you to take a perilous journey, leaving family behind, leaving community behind? You have no guarantee you're even going to make it. Like how desperate do you have to become before you do that? How impoverished, how destitute, how frightened, how oppressed? And what is the origin of these conditions? How do they involve ourselves? Could it have anything to do with neoliberal austerity policies, the series of coups and, and invasions that this country has perpetrated upon the other ones that make life miserable there? Of course you get immigration. Once you start asking those questions, which lie on the other side of easy judgment, then things get confusing. Then you don't know what to do anymore. It is really uncomfortable to not know what to do, but that is the next step after the release of judgment. It is not knowing what to do. I would vote for any politician who got up there and said, healthcare, gosh, I really don't know what to do. Inflation, God, I don't, don't know what to do about that either. If he actually was honest about not knowing what to do, at least I know that they're not going to reflexively perpetrate policies that perpetuate the status quo. That would be a refreshing politician who actually admitted to not knowing what to do.